Hello students, in this video I am going to discuss about mole concept and the numericals based on it. Now I have tried my level best to keep the concept very simple, easy and interesting for you. So those who are having difficulty from 10th standard about the mole concept, they are going to get confidence after watching this video. Okay, so let us start with the basics. Now students, in any part of the world we go, okay, one dozen means 12 items okay one pair means two items isn't it similarly mole mole means the amount of substance which is exactly equal to the amount of substance that can be accommodated in 12 grams of carbon 12 isotope what do i mean by this i have explained this with the help of a diagrammatic representation suppose we are having a balance and it is having two pans okay in the first pan i have put one mole of a particular substance in the second pan i am adding some component that is some grams of carbon 12 it is observed that when i finish adding 12 grams of carbon 12 isotope then both the pans they are in equal position okay it means that amount of substance which is present here okay in the second pan is equal to amount of substance present in first pan and hence we come to the definition once again that mole means the amount of substance which can be this substance can be atoms molecules ions electrons protons neutrons okay present in 12 grams of carbon 12 isotope okay now we are just covering some basics of mole first of all fine now one mole is equal to avogadro number means one mole contains how many particles student it contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles please note these particles could be atoms molecules ions h plus electrons neutrons okay etc now since mole is used to represent the quantity of matter okay it is used to represent quantity of matter it means like matter mole is also going to have mass and mole is also going to occupy volume okay students now first we focus on point number one okay mole expressed in terms of particles now as i said that mole in terms of particles one mole of contains 6.022 10 to 23 particles so students if i say that one mole of oxygen atom one mole of oxygen atom it means that one mole of oxygen atom contains 6.022 10 to 23 oxygen atoms please note it is oxygen atoms okay now if i say that i have one mole of water molecules it means in one mole of water molecules we are having 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 water molecules okay now similarly i have taken some more examples so that you understand and you feel this concept very easy one mole of h plus ions so one mole of h plus ion means it contains 6.022 10 raised to 23 h plus ions fine now let us continue with the last example as well one mole of electrons means 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 electrons so i hope that you might have understood the conclusion till now is that one mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles okay now we look at your mole expressed in terms of volume please remember one mole of every gas occupies 22.4 decimeter cube okay volume at stp under standard temperature and pressure conditions only one mole of gaseous substance okay one mole of gaseous substance will occupy 22.4 decimeter cube volume okay in the derivations you will come to know how this value came now let us understand this same concept in more detail now if i say i have one mole of oxygen gas 
means it is having how much volume students 22.4 decimeter cube if i say one mole of water steam okay it is having 22.4 decimeter cube volume if i say one mole of helium gas again it is going to occupy 22.4 decimeter cube so the conclusion based on mole expressed in particles comes to be what it comes to be one mole is occupying 22.4 decimeter cube volume okay please make a note of it one decimeter cube can also be written as one liter and one liter is 1000 ml okay now we move on to the third aspect that is mole expressed in terms of mass okay so in terms of mass let us go step by step okay one mole of a substance students if that substance is an atom then its mass would be atomic mass if that substance is molecule its mass would be molecular mass okay so let us go one by one fine now if i have one mole of oxygen atom okay it means that 6.022 into 10 is to 23 oxygen atom weighs 16 grams okay one mole of sulfur atom it is 32 gram it means 6.022 into 10 is to 23 sulfur atoms weigh 32 grams if anybody is asking me atomic mass so students in atomic mass we write like this 16 amu okay then for sulfur we write like this 32 amu what is amu atomic mass unit okay it is 1 upon 12 into mass of one carbon atom about this we will study in the coming videos okay so atomic mass now coming to molar mass now students just see molar mass as i said it is suppose i say one mole of co2 molecule so i am adding the atomic mass of carbon that is 12 and oxygen that is 16 plus 16 32 so 44 okay so it means that 6.022 into 10 to 23 molecules of carbon monoxide gas occupies 44 grams fine it is having this much weight then if i say one mole of water molecules so i am substituting the values of hydrogen that is 1 that is 1 into 2 2 and oxygen is 16 so 18 grams okay so what does it mean it means that 6.022 10 to 23 water molecules will weigh 18 grams now students if i have to write in terms of atomic mass i can write as 18 amu actually students atomic mass is what it is 1 upon 12 into mass of one carbon atom we will study this in the coming video okay so what we have studied so far and uh, that is if a is equal to b and b is equal to c we can say that a is equal to c hence we conclude a is equal to b is equal to c what does it mean and how it is connected with the mole concept let me explain you that here now at stp at stp one mole contains these many particles okay at stp one mole occupies this much volume at stp one mole weighs this much so can i not say that one mole of substance contains these many particles and these many particles occupy 22.4 decimeter cube now let us take example of oxygen students okay let us focus here now for oxygen one mole of oxygen these many molecules are present one mole of oxygen occupies this much volume one mole of oxygen is having 32 gram as the weight so what is the conclusion students conclusion is this conclusion is that one mole of oxygen gas contains these many molecules okay which occupies this much volume and which is having this much weight okay one more last example i have written to make this mole concept clear is if i say one mole of co2 gas 
then it means it contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of CO2. Okay, and these molecules will occupy how much volume, children? 22.4 decimeter cube, and it is going to have how much mass? 44 grams mass. So I hope children this introduction to mole concept was clarified very nicely and we are going to solve some numericals in the next videos of mole concept. Thank you.